Hello, welcome to TFLP Microcasters. I'm Lucas, and I am joined tonight by Christian and Anna. What up? Ooh. Hello. So tonight we are doing some shattered glass here because we love doing repaints. Or I guess technically the blur has a new head, right? So there you go. He does, and so does Goldbug. Oh yeah, I guess Goldbug does too. So Goldbug. So, yeah, yeah, they do. And we haven't been doing repaints as much as we used to. We hit that area where we were like thousands of repaints, and now we're back to like the occasional repaint. I feel like it's really just dependent on what Hasbro is releasing. You know, if they release a thousand repaints, then well, it's yes, because like you guys don't let me from. review good stuff. We can review good things too. I'm like, you oh, I bought good this cool new toy, day. and you're like, no, Hasbro, and I'm like, yeah, but, but like, we can do the dolphin, guys. If you're the only we're not one not showing... the dolphin. Yeah, we're not. Look at it. Look at the dolphin. I can't even see it. It's out. So oh, first off, can, can anyone can actually buy the that. dolphin unless you go to the aquarium in Baltimore? Yeah, it's it's easily available on Amazon. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. All right. You can buy any variety of these very simple animal faces, the chest, legs, splay f forth, arms fall to the side. There's four-legged cat thingies and dolphins and sharks and wolves and polar bears and all sorts of things that are made with this basic that's, idea. That's fantastic. I, and I think you should just start collecting just that. Like, that should be... The focus of your collection. That I mean, that would be a short collection. There's dinosaurs, apparently, according to Randall. There are dinosaurs. That's true. There are dinosaurs as well. I guess Catherine says this is actually a TFCon Baltimore exclusive. Little did we know. Um, <laughs> very well could have been. Uh, what did that mean? It was just like some sort of really weird like KO that was the exclusive. Maybe that should be the TF Expo exclusive. <laughs> I'll just get a couple of those, those uh, things. Man, like, if you painted him just right, exclusive. if yeah. you painted him just right, people would like start to think they were important. That would be okay. fantastic. So you know how TF Expo's colors like yellow? You guys use yellow a lot in your marketing. No, but you do. It depends year to year. Okay, well every year I've been, it's been yellow. Okay. You get the dolphin. You cut off all the fins. You paint it yellow. Now it's a banana. <laughs> you My give it a Starscream head, like it's Banana Storm. She, Your uh, wife doesn't like oh, banana. You could call him Banana like Storm. Yeah, banana. <laughs> an actual banana storm. There you go. An actual oh, banana TFX storm. Oh, TFX exclusive banana storm? Oh my god, you should it have. There you go. So anyway, Good tonight, Shattered Glass. Um, so yeah, so uh, what we got the first figure and the fourth figure, is that right? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Who's That's the it. second and third? Well, we got Megatron, Megatron and... Megatron and Starscream. Starscream, okay. And so. if you're lucky, they're shipping out Megatrons three a day from Pulse. Anna and I were one and two today, so... No, I... You I may get three. your soon. You were number three? Wow, I, look I at did. us. I, I did actually get it later in the day. So after you guys, you guys got yours in the mid, uh, morning. And oh, I so I was one. Yeah, I think mine's two. arriving on story. Saturday. Something is arriving on Saturday. So that's probably it. They're, they're having trouble with it. It's either that or your request. One or the other. Yeah. Either, get them. either a thing I'm not that excited for or a giant box. <laughs> Yeah, I haven't even checked to see when mine is coming, so I don't know. But anyway, blur. Ooh. Hey, vehiculon mode. Yes, so, I prepared. The colors on this are a lot better than the original. I feel like, like this. Absolutely. Really... Sorry, the original shutter glass or the original of this mold. The uh, original of this mold, mold. blur. Uh, uh, sorry. I mean, yeah, kind of. I don't know. I don't know. The They're different. Like there, it's so. an entirely different color scheme, but I think this is a cooler cover cover color scheme. Yeah. I like. It I really is... like the blue veins. The blue veins are really neat. 
Oh, so Kath was of asking if there is going to be a review of Rung, the MMC one, and uh, there will be. Uh, so we could have done that tonight had Anna picked the fast shipping, but she didn't. So uh, we're, we're going to have to wait for hers to come. It. I would have had time to open that thing and actually play with it anyway. The only reason I had time to get Goldbog ready was all I had to do was open it. Because <laughs> I've played with this mold a thousand times. Yeah, I mean, you decided to mold complete it, so we'll talk about that later. <laughs> Foolishness. But yeah, it's Blur. Uh, most people call what you call veins uh, lightning, because that's what it is. <laughs> no, they're veins. No, they're not. But no, they're that. energy veins. Okay. The energy's coming through his skin, and his skin is metal. He's, like, bulgy, because he's a bad guy. Okay, do you want to know why he has them? Why is that lightning, Christian? Okay, it's going to be part of the rant that Steroids. I shared last show. But it's because he steals speed from other people. Or he did, not this one. The old blur, the old Shadow Glass blur did. And this is like the energy of that manifesting and making him go fast. Because he's not inherently fast like Positive Universe blur. He steals other objects or people's speed to make him go fast. But not now, now he's just a dude. Or alternatively, he drinks their speed and it makes his veins bulge and turn blue. Okay. Same thing. Well, I don't know. You know, Anna could say, Anna could tell me that that's what the new comic says and I would believe it because I have not (laughs) read them. Um, You should. You own them. You own them physically. I do have them physically, but I have not read them. Skip Blur's issue and then I read issue two. It's okay. She's pretty okay, yeah. There you go. It's Coming more up what, on, yeah, anywho. on a show at some point, huh? Yeah, I think we'll, we'll, we'll probably that. restart that next week, I think. Next I need week. to talk yeah. to everyone about doing it, but instead of just making the decision and doing it by myself. When is issue three coming out? Do we know? Serge said it came out last Three's week. Three's out, yeah. Oh, it out? Okay. I didn't and we buy have it, issue Anna, four, sorry, right? Because that came with... Yeah, so we can read up to four. Because... <sighs> Or they ship two or three. They shipped issue four. I don't know. Things are weird over at Pulse. Yeah, so Antoine, uh, for the Microcaster show, we do this on Facebook. And then we put it on YouTube later because, I, I don't know, it's just the way we've done it. So Also, what's up, Antoine? Yeah, what's up? Shout out to Antoine. I waved to him. <laughs> oh, he may have seen it, depending on if okay. he's looking. Let's get back to Blur. Vehicle mode, he's yep. got the lightning. I wish there was more of it. Because they're, it used to cover Thanks. the whole vehicle mode side, and now it's just kind of here up front. I don't know. To me, this is not the mold I wanted for Shadow Glass Blur. But I had the original. I've been with Shadow Glass for a very long time. Oh, no. Uh-oh. <laughs> for the Christian. The same person who calls me every week during the show called me again. That monster. And she doesn't realize every week that it's the same time. But yes, here it is. I wanted, I really wanted the Generations Drift and Blur to become Shadow Glass Blur back in the day. I know it's not feasible now, but uh, here he is. He exists. I'm happy that he's here. Yeah, the vehicle wow, mode looks so good. Nice. I like it. So this is my first time with the toy because I didn't buy the original because I... I think it looks worse than the LG. I honestly do. And looks wise, I agree with myself even after owning both. Definitely posability wise, this one's better because it's a new toy, but looks wise. Yeah, that one came out nicer. But that is a cool looking car mode. Like it definitely yeah. works. It, as long as you're okay with blur as a vehicle mode because this vehicle has always been this fictional, speedy. Yes. Fantasy future nonsense. Shadow glass blur wasn't there, and that yeah, anyway. Yeah. This is where Catherine. But it lets his gun go under more. his face, which feels right to me to put the gun under the car face. So that's nice. Yes, he holds the and gun. And you can buy it with the there. the oil can hand. The so that's good. Welding piece, but that's cool. <laughs> the oil can <laughs> hands. Okay. <laughs> I use my imagination. You play by some sort of rules written by your corporate overlords. I watched the movie. 
I don't think cool. Clark's in that movie. <laughs> okay. Yeah, whatever. I, I like whatever. To you, Christian. Anywho. Or it could be a pirate hook, according to Randall. So there you go. Oh, That's yeah. Better. That's better than both of our suggestions. Yeah. Well, my yeah, like fact and Anna's suggestion. <laughs> Jeez, jeez. <laughs> we have full punches on this show. And next thing you're going to criticize me because mine has lobster hands? I want to talk about the lobster hands, actually, because mine on the left lobster bit is very, very loose. That's a like, bummer. Yeah, it, it will not stay tabbed. There's, not, there's no tab. It won't stay up on the pin. If I put what? the uh, welding piece in his hand, it'll stay because there's something holding it there. But otherwise, it just folds, flop, flops back down. So anyone who pays attention to me, you know that I hate this, right? Like, it's just uh, such a big piece of kibble. Like, it's really large. It's not as bad in hand as it was in pictures. I think it would be better if this wasn't wide open. But it's... It really bugs me. So I started posing mine with lobster claw hands instead, and I actually like it that way. I don't know. I mean, this is Blur's look, though. You know what I mean? Like It what, is what you accurate. Do? It's not accurate for it to be hollow, necessarily, but that piece right. is there. Right. As I was going to say, this is how his arm looks, so outside of the little hollow bit, but it's also a $20 toy, so... Well, mine has lobster claw hands, and I like it that way. I don't yeah. know. I mean, see, I I don't know anything about chair glass. I have not, you know, I'm not steeped in the lore and whatnot. I think this just looks cool. I like that he has a lot of paint, like the little back. This little bit has, sh you know, some shiny paint on it. Like, I just, there's a lot of paint on this guy. And so that's there's a lot of paint I on like him. About it. I think it and it all looks good. Yes. And the face looks really cool, too. Oops, if I can... It is mostly accurate. Probably about as accurate as they could get it. I, I love that Anna likes to show off a completely blur blurry face. It's like I do. Look it's at, fun. Look, look at this. Look at this completely blurry face that like no one is gonna actually be able to see. Hey, my camera used to pick up toy faces when it decided it did it anymore. Sometimes it's I like just... that. Yeah, life's life's crazy like that. So, his face is pretty cool. He's got the eye patch thing going on. He's got the, like, drippy red stuff coming out of his eye. Is that also lightning? Because he goes so fast, his eyes bleed. Yeah, it's just, like, blood or oil or whatever. <laughs> For some reason, he has red blood coming out of his eye. Why you not? He said he had veins. He does. But they're Energon veins. Where the Energon runs through his body. All right. It's got to circulate somehow. I, I would call this conduit since he's like a machine, but uh, sure, veins. He's a person. Anywho. <laughs> Death, Ron in the chat said best figure from this mold so far. Absolutely. Out of two? The, yeah. yeah. I don't know that we're going to get another figure from this mold, though. Do and I am just fine with that. Let's just leave this mold behind. <laughs> Yeah. I've seen some pretty convincing repaints of this as Cybertron Override, but we have heard that she's coming from Hot Rod instead, so... Oh, please come from Hot Rod. That'll make her such a cool toy. Yeah. Be yeah. So much neater. This is Blur. He's neat. Um, <laughs> he's not he's necessarily cool accurate head. to previous Shatter Glass, but the new Shatter Glass, they based it on this toy, so... Yeah, they did. It, it is mm. straight up accurate to that. Like, it looks exactly <laughs> like the comic book because right. the comic book's just like photos of it and poses. Yeah, he does. I was thinking he doesn't have an Autobot symbol, but he actually does. It is underneath the yellow canopy. Uh, yeah, that's there. true. It, it is, is purple, like it should be. Very little. Very little. The, the last thing I do want to mention, just like the thing to drive me crazy. It's he does, in fact, have wrist swivel, and his freaking kibble is attached to his wrist. Yes, it is. It's like, <laughs> you can swivel his wrist as long as you don't mind flopping his kibble about. Yeah, because it's actually, it's a transformation thing, not an articulation yes, thing. Yes, it's not articulation. It, it isn't actually a perfect articulation either. There's one pose it can't meet. Anna, it has wrist swivel, so there you go. You can't complain. 
Yes, it they, has they your swivel it and you. does it wrong somehow. They gave it to you. <laughs> gave it to you on a technicality. <sighs> I do like the um, the hand replacement type accessories. Those are fun. I'm glad that he comes with one. Because they're very transformery. <laughs> I like the cat, the Christian replacement accessory of cats. I like that she gave you her eye directly into the lens. Yeah, so we're all relatively happy with Blur. Personally, I, I think that, like, unless you are a completionist or a big Shattered Glass fan or a fan of the new comic or whatever, these are superfluous releases. You know, they're just fun color versions of already existing molds of characters I mean, you probably were way more excited to get. I, I think for myself, like, I'm never going to go back and get those BotCon figures. Like, it's just not right. going to happen. And me so for either. me, it's nice to have these figures that are, I think this is what, 30 bucks with a comic and whatnot. Like, that's not bad. Um, and so that, that's where I, I think it's kind of neat. Um, the only one I'm really not sure about that I'm still probably getting is that black jet fire. Um, like again, it looks neat, but I'm like, Oh, do I really need it for, you know, the price? But like, I don't know. Most of these I don't feel bad about. I need them all because I'm a big shadow glass person. I'm even buying doubles of retail figures that, Double as Shadow Glass dudes. I bought Road Rage twice because that's Road Rage and Shadow Glass tracks. I bought another Bug Bite just in case. We'll talk about that in a minute. Um, yeah. Should we'll we talk about, about it now? Yeah, we should talk about it now. <clears throat> this is Shadow Glass Goldberg. And I've, I've put him in the hydro foil mode because I don't think we've ever actually shown that off on this show. Yeah. Uh, by the way, Phil hey. says that he really likes your new haircut. That's Thanks, Phil. Guy. So there you go. That means a lot. I was I was nervous about it. Looks good. Thanks, man. Thanks. Hydrofoil. So we've always shown him off with a cannon that you can just stick on top of the car, but it actually disintegrates into these ski pieces and this whatever thing, and then the. The guns become, I guess, pontoons or whatever on the side. Not sure. But here he's in vehicle mode. He's black and gold. He's got Autobot symbol on the roof there. That's where he is in the back. No no taillights as usual. But he does have this nice stripe in the back, which is unusual. He's also got a racing or a pinstripe all down the side. His hood is gold. His rims are painted gold. There you go. This is gold bug. Actually, it's Bumblebee. Because I'm mad about it. And Catherine's going to make fun of me some more. And that's okay. I've accepted it. It's my lot in life. <laughs> You've never seen this mold before. It's new, right? Yes, we've <laughs> never had it before. What's really impressive is that they really did a good job at color matching the clear blue windows and the painted blue uh, back window. It's, it's totally the same color you came in. Yeah, it's right? out. Right? Yeah, it looks the same to me. Exactly the same. Is yeah. this sarcasm? It doesn't look bad. It, it does not look bad. It's just, why would you make it so vastly different? I don't know. Like, I actually kind of like the blue in person. Um, I think sure, it kind of it's nice. breaks, it breaks everything up a little bit and whatnot. It looks weird. Um, it does you know, look weird. Person. And I've gotten over it. Like, it's clashy. And that's okay, because he's a clashy like kind of guy, it, maybe. But I, I like clashy stuff, so... Yeah, you're Mr. G2, so yeah, that makes sense. Right. <laughs> that does make sense. You guys have him in bot mode, and I really like the new head. Look at you. I'm going to rip it off and put it on a Sunstreaker and paint that instead, but uh, <laughs> he's got a nice head. Hey, you know what, Lucas? Hope... Look, look at the head. Look at the head. Look at it. I hope they repaint this head as like positive universe gold bug. Cause that would be cool too. Yeah. That's what I would really like a gold gold bug. That would be nice. He's on the yeah. list though. Right. Is he? I don't know. Uh, not any list that I've oh, seen. I yeah, thought I saw him on some lists, but maybe I made it up with my eyeballs. I could be forgetting it. There were a lot of lists. There has been a lot. There of are lists. a lot of lists. It's true. If anyone can confirm if we're getting a gold gold bug, let us know in the chat. 
I swear I thought I saw it, but I, don't I probably made it up. But I mean, they want to. This is like the new secret mold, though. I feel like, right? How many? How many have we gotten, Christian? The six or seven. Cliff Jumper. Netflix B. Hubcap. Worlds Collide B. Bug Bite. Bug Bite is six. Missing one. No, I think I think you're right. I think it's six. How many are on my desk? One, two, three, four, five, and then Cliff Jumper's over there. That's six. Yeah. I think it's six. Yeah, and you can take the cannons. Remember, I showed that off the other day. That you can combine all the cannons together into one six yes. gun or whatever. So giant gun. Giant I gun. did buy more because I've made Bumblebee Red Bobby and Cliff Jumper Yellow Bobby. I don't make those names. I didn't come up with them, but I made them. And I bought an additional additional Worlds Collide B from Phil. Thanks, Phil. So that I could what am I gonna do with that one? Use its head, take rip its head off, and put it on this figure. And make Shadow Glass Bumblebee and turn a Sunstreaker into Shadow Glass Goldbug because that's what it is in my head because I'm a G Water, but only for Shadow Glass. <laughs> that's a weird thing to G Water about considering it was how many years after I, I am sure Catherine's out there yelling at me through the screen right now. No, she's probably giggling at you. you. Oh, that's yeah. true. That's true. That's more of her style. Yeah. I'm sorry, Catherine. I failed you. I'm, I'm trying here, but like, Shadow glass is deep in my heart. And this is not correct. Oh, it's deep in your veins, like like Blur's veins? Yes, it's deep in my lightning inner John veins, correct. I thought so. I thought so. I figured it out. That's it. Not accurate. It is nice though. It is nice looking figure. It's nice in vehicle mode. It's nice in bot mode. I like that the cannon is black and yellow and it's got that blue paint at the end of it. It's super <laughs> cool looking. It's not gold bug, but it's very nice looking. Somewhere along the line, I I fell in love with this mold. I don't know if it was because I got pissed off that people were complaining about it being too small or in parts forming, and I decided to defend it to death or what it was, but for some reason I really, really like this mold. I've decided to get every version of it, even if it's like the wrong thing to do. Like owning Worlds Collide B is definitely the wrong thing to do. Owning Bug Bite is definitely the wrong thing to do, but I have them now. Because I want to have every version of this mold. Because it is fun. I don't know why. But just having one of it on my desk at all times is just really enjoyable. And it's going to be this one for a while. Because he's pretty. Well, I feel like this is kind of like the perfect size. You know, it's not as small as Legends. It's not, you know, a bigger figure or whatnot. And it's just a solid um, figure and whatnot. So I really hope that they do all the mini bots, um, you know, in this scale, but I'm sure they'll like mm-hmm. leave one out just to annoy me. Oh, they're going to leave more than one out. They're going to leave at least so two far? out. Three so far with another one coming. They'll just never what? release yes. gears. The, the one that they're supposed to release or whatever. And it never did. North yes. Yes. Hey, if we want to finish 84, we've got Brawn Gears and Wind Charger ne- that we need. Mm, We're yeah. that close. Yeah, we've gotten Huffer, and we've gotten Warpath. Um, I don't know if anybody's supposed to come out in Legacy. I don't. I think Beachcomber's on the list somewhere. I don't I don't remember. Yeah. We'll get there. I wanted to mention this... that... I was just going to say this canon keeps getting more colorful with more releases. It does. This is the most colorful version of the canon yet, with three different colors. Painted blue, black, and gold. And it actually ended up being obnoxious, and I like it. I do think this, this is already obnoxious. Yes. The purple one? The purple one's obnoxious. Yeah, but this is more obnoxious, because it's three colors. Kind of ridiculous. I do think this release is buoyed by black repaint syndrome. You know, oftentimes we get black repaints and stuff and they're like, oh, it's so cool because it's black. And you know what? This is cool because it's black. <laughs> I, you know, it's normally black and teal, but, you know, black and gold, that works for me. Yeah, yeah it definitely works. different. If it was just like a black bumblebee or something like that, you know, you'd be like, eh. But. 
It was my high school colors, so I feel nostalgia about it or something. So, Anna, which one is your favorite of the mold? Okay. You know, I was thinking about that earlier, and I think, like, right now, I haven't picked up a clip jumper in a while. So maybe Clip Jumper's hiding in the background and he's going to be like, booga booga, I'm still your favorite. But right now, looking at all of them, ironically, it's Mr. Oompa Loompa, which <laughs> is hilarious because when we first got it, we were all three like a resounding eh to it, mm. right? And we, there's even a recording of us all three saying, yeah, it's just kind of a boring version of the mold. But sitting around like he's the lemon flavored one or banana flavored no he's like banana laffy taffy color and that's delicious and that kind of makes you excited the bright orange face stands out it makes him different he is like the most alive the most alive head sculpt like his face looks like it has like energy and is alive and is a person making an expression where the rest it's of them are kind of like... too bad we can't see that uh, face. Well, too bad! Think. Maybe you should get yours out, mister. Oh, I got a camera you can see faces on. <laughs> I'm trying to <laughs> Whatever. where mine's at. Probably oh, in your there. toys too good to yeah. hold area. But I like it because, yeah, that face is just way more alive. Because for some reason, I really don't like the Bumblebee face. It just looks so lifeless. And it's on most of them. You know, it's on a lot of them. The cliff jumper face I thought was okay. The um, gold bug face, you know, necessarily doesn't exactly communicate alive being a visor face and a, um, being both a visor and a mouth guard face. So I think I, I actually ended up liking Hubcap Bass. Weird, but whatever. It's a weird one. That's why I knew you would like it best. Yeah, well, once I realized he was Banana Laffy Taffy, I kind of got excited. So I think I agree with Ron. He says Goldbug and then Bug Bite is second. I actually might put Cliff Jumper second. I'm not sure. And then uh, Cliff Jumper looks good too. Bite. He's just over there. I I'm a actually big fan of Bug Bite. I really yeah, liked Bug Bite, Bite until I realized the figure doesn't have any purple on it. Yeah, I kind of wish, like, if they had made the um, the windshield purple, I think that that would have... I think yeah, I'm going to have to get myself the Reaper labels for him, because it replicates the purple tattoos from the Bakan figure, and that's, like, iconic to the character for me, because that's where I first met him, and uh, I will add that, and he'll have purple then, but I see what your issue is. And my new age one has the, the tattoo as well and therefore when i got this one i just like my first thought was where's the purple right why yeah. is he just black and white why is he just like black and white film bumblebee and that's because he is they used uh all the purple on the gun they did they did and they got purple on there somewhere which is you know at least it's like an homage in that way that they did include some purple on it so otherwise he doesn't have purple can we spoil a bit of Shattered Glass comics for you guys? I think it's okay. Spoiler alert, everyone. We're going to say something about a comic we have not not we have not talked about yet. So they've turned Bug Bite into Shattered Glass Bumblebee. Ooh. Which I don't really like. They never showed Shattered Glass Bumblebee in the original Shattered Glass. He just it was said that you know Bumblebee was like basically destroyed and then he rebuilt himself as Goldbug to never be hurt again. Which I thought was really compelling because he made himself into this you know giant race car based on Cybertron Hotshot. And um, they've on the back of the packaging for the new Goldbug, it mentions that same story, but he has the same essentially the same body. So I don't the, the character progression is not there for me, even though it was only essentially implied previously. But uh, if you want a Shattered Glass of Bumblebee that's now canon accurate, go get yourself a second gold bug. Or just repurpose your current gold bug. Or, sorry, second bug bite. Or repurpose your current bug bite. But you're going to need a faction now. symbol. So what's He's going to need a faction then? symbol. He's just getting mercenary. Bugs, like Shattered Glass? He's just gold bug, yeah. Bumblebee oh, okay. repaints himself and becomes gold bug. That's what happens, I think. We having so, Phil, really it's not yet. that... It's not that Bug Bite and Bumblebee are the same character. It's that for the one panel they show Shattered Glass Bumblebee on, they use Bug Bite's color scheme. 
So, you know, they basically used this figure when they were drawing pictures of the figures in the comic book. I think they gave him an Autobot symbol instead of a mercenary symbol. Yeah. But they never said still... he was Bug Bite or anything like that. They never used the name Bug Bite. No, I mean, they said... it happens in Megatron's book and he shoots this toy and they're like, hey, you took out Bumblebee. And we know that Bumblebee gets rebuilt in the gold bug later. But uh, he gets rebuilt into the same body. It looks like this. And they're repaints of each other, which I do not like. That actually has oh. made me the most mad out of anything Shadow Glass so far. See, he was born with no paint. That's why he's all black and white like this. When he um, got fixed up, they gave him super paint that made him more it. powerful. It's armor paint. Uh, armor paint, okay. And he just gets stripes to make him go fast. I bet you that's what it is. We'll read that book and we'll, we'll find out. <laughs> we'll find out all about it. Yeah, but, but yeah. it's interesting that they made those two go together because for a lot of us, you know, we look at Bug Bite and we think, who is this even? And then I'm like, oh, it's a GoBot. And I'm like, no, it's the wrong body for that GoBot. And well, this is another solution, right? Suddenly it's an official Transformers character that showed up in two panels. Oh. So I, I do want to say that I also love the mercenary sig- uh, symbol. Uh, I know <coughs> Catherine and Ron both said that they they love that. And I really hope that we get more mercenaries. Um, I don't know. They kind of did that. And then, like, I don't know. Did, I don't think we're getting any more at the moment, are we? That we know of? Not that we know about. Unless they just yeah. randomly assign it to some characters again, like they did with Snapdragon. Right. Yeah. I mean, like, lo- where's, where's my lockdown? Right. right, that's who needs to be in the mercenary faction. But no, sure. no more lockdowns, why, no why deadlocks. Lockdown? I don't know, man. Yeah, yeah. how have they not done drift either? Like those are both like really popular characters yet we haven't seen them. We haven't had a new G one drift mold since two thousand ten. It's what? time. <laughs> how? How? He's a big deal. He's got like big eighty deal. wind blades. Uh, not really. Two, yeah. two wind blades. Two wind blades. And then all the robot in disguise ones. See, that's like where where accuracy gets me. Like you're you're all like, ooh, they did the shutter glass people wrong. But turning people who aren't headmasters into headmasters pissed me off. Like I would have liked that new wind blade toy so much more if she hadn't been a headmaster. Yeah, yeah so I still like it, unfortunately. but. I like it better than the the first Windblade toy, but yeah, the Headmaster thing is definitely a detriment. Okay, well, thanks, Phil, that Cyberverse had both Drift and Deadlock, but, you know, good for Cyberverse. Multiple toys. Cyberverse Cyberverse. is great. Cyberverse is for not me, and that's okay. Right. Cyberverse, I'm very excited to be getting Cyberverse flag soon. Early December. I've rid myself of the last of my Cyberverse toys. I will not buy any more because they're not for me, and that's okay. I will continue waiting for a new drift in the main. I line. gave one mine to you, Anna, right? Yep. I I did. Yeah. Yeah. I, well, I think we had an overlap because I think we both had Optimus, so you might still have Optimus. I don't know. Or did you I, not get him? I don't remember. I don't. No, you I didn't did. get him. You didn't got, get Optimus. No, I got I the know. three. You got the Bumblebee, yeah. the Megatron, yeah. and the Shockwave. Yes. Yeah. But so anyway, the last fun detail about this guy is he came with comic number four, even though he came out second as the Shattered Glass figures. So don't just pick them up and read them like be like, I read Blur first and then Goldlog, right? Because you're going to see some future that even Christian, I don't know yet because we haven't read issue three. So we're allowed to read issue four yet. So be careful about that. Oh, did you see that? Phil said he'll volunteer to help me microcaster Cyberverse Slug. Did you hear that? There, there you go. Good you can for, try to convince Phil. Christian and I to get the figure. And Christian no. can buy it, and then he can sell it to Nick in, like, whatever, a couple <laughs> of months. You guys can just sit and watch as we enjoy a fun toy together. I really do hope you enjoy it. I, I like when people enjoy Transformers. Me too, yeah. honestly. 
like, even though you guys get excited for a lot of the figures, I'm kind of like, meh. I do like seeing you happy with them. It's a nice thing. Yes, everyone. That was one of the fun things about MTF Con was seeing, you know, the friends I was with get excited about hunting down old toys. I definitely didn't want, but it was nice. You know, they found things that they didn't know about and got excited for them. And I was just like, oh, that's really cool. And then I paced around and looked for Action Masters. Oh, last point I wanted to make is I really do like this mold, right? I don't think it's the ultimate or the perfect Bumblebee or ultimate or perfect cliff jumper. I just think it's a good one and it's a fun toy and it's something I enjoy owning and playing with. I did manage to pick up at TFCon, as I talked about on the show last time, the new age version of Bumblebee, which is definitely a way better approximation of Bumblebee and a like more advanced action figure, but it didn't make me dislike this. I was afraid that getting this, I was going to be like, oh, well, I don't need to be getting this, like, low-class Bumblebee anymore. <laughs> but, no, I, I like both. I'm able to like both, even though this is more of a, like, you know, screen-accurate Bumblebee look and more poseable and has all the parts. Well, Anna, you can just become a bear, uh, a Bumblebee character collector, and then you'll be okay. I think just I'm almost there. Bumblebee. But I think I've decided to be a bit of an elitist with it. So with Magnus, I bought all the Magni. And a lot of them I really didn't like. And I was getting these, like, I was always staring at that freaking Papa Toys Magnus. Going, like, why would anyone own this? Look at that face. He's hideous. And it was greatly liberating when I finally decided not to be a Magnus character collector anymore and get rid of all the ones I don't like and just keep the ones I did like. I think that's how I'm going to do Bumblebee. Not going to get all of them. Like, you know, we talked about Bump of Chicken Bumblebee the other day, and that Heck is outside yeah, of my Bump purview, and I don't Bumblebee. like that mold anyway. I don't like that mold. I don't like the um, the first Buzzworthy mold, the one that came with the um, exosuit. Didn't like oh. that. Not going to own it. Yeah. What was that face? <laughs> Well, I had forgotten that existed. It was so bad. Yeah. The B- <laughs> Bumblebee or whatever, like, I, I'm not sure you could. I'm sure someone owns all the Bumblebees, but man, that would be a tough task. I think it's Paul. And Does I'm not he... going to deal with the name either. Like, I'm oh not going to buy no movie Bumblebees. Mm-mm. Just ones I like. Man. Anyway. I'm not going to do the new age either. I got to see him in person. Did not look good in person. Didn't you? Didn't you? Isn't that that? I'm not the new. I'm at the. It's so easy to mess up New Age and Magic Square. They both. They they're both two words. Okay. Okay. I saw the Magic Square in person. I didn't like it. Okay. The way they did the chest is weird. I just wasn't a fan. But I like this one, so I got it. Cool. This one costs significantly more than Goldbug. And that's why I don't buy Legends. You guys, this decision-making process and getting toys like this makes a lot more sense than mine. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, but I, I would recommend this one. I think it's cool. Like, I, it's one of my, uh, you know, favorite versions of the mold. But I also don't care about the original Shatter Glass, so I could see where Christian would be upset that it's not really Shatter Glass Gold Book. Okay, I will be dismantling it, using its head for... Sunstreaker and making that into Goldbug instead. As this is, this is a this is a nice toy. I would recommend it if you don't have hangups like me. If you do have hangups like me, either do what I'm doing or skip this entirely. I it recommend make you it mad too. Every day. So. I like it quite a bit. It's a good version of the mold, and I'm happy that they made this face. Like I, I think this it's face needs to be face. represented. Like, a lot of times it's kind of, like, been lost to history that this face showed up a lot in G1 toys. So I'm glad to have it back. Yes. And I hope they make a positive gold bug. I'd really like to see that happen. And if they just if they just get bored one day and they want to pour a bunch of blue paint on one of these <laughs> and just send it to me, I'll be fine with that. You don't need to make me it's, a better glyph head. This is good enough. That's the glyph head. Yeah, just um, change his eye color to yellow. And um, one day, 
Go Peanut for blue. it. It was selects. They got it. They got to get there eventually, right? No, they don't. <laughs> they can leave me behind. Just I like they, they left. Too I long. would like a glyph. What's that obscure yellow bird guy they left behind? Buzzsaw. It was a. He didn't get a figure from the bird mold. That mold's probably behind us. Just sad now. Probably. But I got actually get- one of those to paint too. You might get him with Energon wings. I might get him with Energon wings for some reason. Oh, boy. Do you think Hasbro is ever going to release all of the tapes in one, like, deck? No. Probably not. I think they're not listening to me, and they like seeing me suffer every time they try another one. See, that's why I was that's why I was mentioning it, because we're, we're suffering together. Like, I can't get my glyph. You guys can't have complete sets of tapes. We all suffer together. Because a whole new set of MP tapes is starting soon with that new um, acoustic wave oh, coming no. out. Uh, the formerly fan toys, whatever it is now. Hmm. Yeah. Yay. Look at Catherine's positivity. Energon weans will look cool on Buzzsaw. <laughs> where the rest of us are like, don't ruin our goddamn Buzzsaw. She's like, those look be cool. I love that Catherine's such a font of optimism. Normally it's me. Even I get dour when they change up my. I, my I think G1 we all guys too we much. all really love the inner John on um, uh, rewind, right? Deject, but yeah. Or I don't hate sorry. it. I'm just calling him reject because it's I, funny. Reject. Yeah. <laughs> it combines the two names like Frumble, oh, but it's way man. funnier. That was good. All right. Well, there you go. Well, thank you guys. Uh, thanks to everyone in the chat tonight. Uh, for what what issues are you guys doing for the uh, book club? Help! I know I skipped last week. Oh jeez! All right, well, fifty some odd or something. Uh, it's uh, fifty two and fifty three of RID. RID fifty two and fifty three. So. Uh, come to book club Sunday nights at 9.30 Eastern, 8.30 Central on the TF Talk Discord. Um, and thank you to everyone in the chat. Thanks to Ron. Thanks to Randall. Thanks to Catherine. Thanks to Phil. Thanks to Antoine. Thanks to... Anybody else? I think I got everybody. That was it. So, yeah. Thank you, guys. And we will see you next week. Thanks, team.